All right, guys, we're going to go over sizing of girders and joists. So hopefully you can look, watch this video and see it again and again. So this is what we have on this particular one. I'm going to start out with a relatively simple one. We have our pipe columns in here right through the center of the house. And then we have our foundation wall. If I go down to the basement, it tells me what my dimensions are. So even though this is a short way here, only 23 feet, and it would be 23 feet over here, we have to take into consideration the longest transverse section and that would be from the outside wall to the outside wall here and that's 29 feet 4 inches. I have taken the 55 2 and divided it into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different areas and all of these should have been 7 foot 8 and 5 sixteenths. If you do it on a calculator, that's what you should end it up with. So what we'll do is we'll go over to the span chart and we go into the International Building Code. We want to look in Chapter 5, which is the floors. And we'll go down to this first uh, table here that shows the girder in the center of the house. These other ones here show the girder on the outside or they show the, the header as we'd call it on the outside. This would be one story. This would be two stories but with a center girder in addition to. This would be uh, the outside of a second story with like a, a truss that goes all the way. So we'll pull on down here and we're going to use, right now it's just a one, one story, so we're going to use one floor. And if we look at the transverse section, we have just 29 feet, 4 inches. So we can't use 20 foot, we can't use 28 feet, but we can use 36 feet. So the 36 feet here is the building width, which is this, build, this measurement here. And then we're going to go with 7, 8, and 5 sixteenths. So we can look down through here until we find something that is over 7, 8, and 5 sixteenths, which is this 7 foot 10, which gives us 3 2 by 12s. We could also use 4 2 by 10s. So in this particular case, we'll go with the small or the, the lesser of the two. This will give you less material to have to deal with. So three 2 by 12s will be put across through here. Okay, so now what about our joists? How far are we going to be pulling our joists? Well, we can put a couple of... Uh, measurements in here and we can pull out through here to find out what we're going to have. And why is it not? I don't know why. I have to get it just right before it will grab on to it. There we go. Alright, so we have 14.8. That would be at the longest point. I should have 14.8 to this point as well. I do. So if I go over to my chart again, and I'm going to rotate back up, passing the headers and into the residential living area. Again, I like going above and beyond, so I'm just going to skip the sleeping area. And I'm going to go with also a dead load of 20 PSF. Back over here again, we got 14.8. If I go 16 inch, Southern Yellow Pine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the screen 
And I'm going to open up Paint. Control V will drop it down. And now I can put a line in here where I can read it a little bit easier. So Southern Yellow Pine, number two, all the way across. So in this case, I've got 14.8. Right there is 14.8. I can't do 9.6, can't do 12.4, but I can do 14.8. So what is that? Now we're going to have to go back over to the other one to find out what that is. It was 14.8 was right here, and that will give us 2 by 10s. So if we go back and look at our house, we could do a 3 2 by 12s across through here. And since we have a larger girder than we will our joists, we could do a ledger strip so that we could don't have to use joist hangers and we don't have to cut to do the ledger strip. So again, three 2 by 12s were found to go across the center girder and 2 by 10s will do the span for our floor joist.